How's it going guys, Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're gonna be doing a review and also a test of the Dosh Dog Treat Maker. So as of the time of recording this video, this dog treat maker is $24.99 on Amazon with 2,100 reviews, so quite a few reviews with almost a five star rating, and it makes eight bones per cook session, and it seems like it's pretty quick to do each time, and I actually went ahead and got a couple of the recipes that they recommended on the website. So let's go ahead and unbox the dog tree maker and see what all we get inside. So first we have a warranty card, very high-end chefs here. I recognize all of them. So here is the actual dog tree maker itself. Like I said, there's really not a whole lot of packaging to it, uh, but it looks like we get like a cast iron sort of surface in the inside and it is double-sided so that you can get you know, three dimensional treats and everything. And there's no buttons or switches on this. You literally just plug it in. You got a big LED indicator here that more than likely will light up once it's uh, ready to go. And then you just unplug it when you're ready to stop using it. So let's go ahead and work on making some recipes. Do you know what we're making? So chefs, we're gonna be making the peanut butter pumpkin treats. So, with a whisk. Oh. All right, so one and a half. <laughs> And add in our flour. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like how you heat it first and then I mean like I guess if this stuff came out more liquidy it'd be kind of cool but like I don't know this just doesn't seem practical. Pretty good. All right we're taking them out. Um, they definitely did not you know form the prettiest. I think if we had taken like you know maybe double the time and really measured like each one out individually and like patted them down really well they probably would look a little nicer but you know at, at that point it's like you could just buy a, a cooking tray and just kind of pour them in there so we're trying to be efficient while looking decent at the same time you know like this one's a lot more runny It. All right, for it. Oh, he's not gonna try it here. Aspen might. Yep. He is a fan. He is not letting a crumb. Oh, there they go. There's definitely some good sized treats. All right, well, we still have a few more batches to make, but yeah, I mean, overall, this is definitely a, a fun activity to do with your your dogs or cats or whatever you're making these for and also with uh, you know friends family and everything but you know other than that in terms of practicality you know you can just buy trays that you can put in the oven um, and do a similar sort of deal obviously they're not gonna be quite as like three-dimensional and dog treat um, looking but other than that you know it's just totally up to the user obviously a lot of these recipes can be found for free online as well but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our main YouTube channel and also toasty clips and we'll see you guys in the next one peace out